My name is Noortje Dijkstra, I'm an academic librarian at UIT, the Arctic University of Norway. And today I'm visiting Omri Snur in his laboratory. Uh, he is a researcher at TREC, the Thrombosis Research and Expertise Center at the Department of Clinical Medicine. And today we're going to talk about electronic lab notebooks. Yeah. First of all, Omri, what is an electronic lab notebook, also known as an ELN? Yeah, so it's uh, software that is uh operate using one's uh, personal computer. Uh, it has been designed to replace the traditional lab notebooks that uh, have been in use and still are in use by uh, scientists, uh, engineers, technicians, and people who perform work that involves data collection. Okay. How long have you been using an ELN now? Um, since 2010. Okay. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. And what were you using before that? the original or the, the normal uh, uh, paper lab books. Yeah, paper lab books, okay. Um, what would you say has been the biggest advantage for your group uh, to start using an ELN? I think there are multiple benefits. Uh, I believe the obvious one is that uh, it is searchable, uh, everything is documented, mm. and if it's done properly, it's been done in real time. Mm. Uh, so it gives some indication about the activity in the group. Um, it facilitates internal collaboration, uh, and I think that makes everything more organized. You have less of loose papers. Yeah. And it, it can also save uh, time. When there is a series of experiments that are similar or identical, then you can simply multiply your experiments. Okay, yeah. Uh, can you give an example of the functionality of an ELN that you have appreciated the most? I think the search option is very important. It gives the uh, opportunity to look back what uh, has been done yeah. and how work was performed. And I also like the fact that uh, data and protocols are shared by definition. Okay. Uh, because it's somewhat teach people uh, who are more private that transparency and yeah. within the group and close with close colleagues is important yeah. and beneficial. Yeah. Have there been any incidents where you have been glad that you were using an ELN and not an old-fashioned notebook? Uh, yes, uh, when I need to prepare my work for the next day. Yeah. And it's many times it happens uh, late in the evenings at home. Yeah. Uh, I can simply log in and search for the information I need. Okay. Uh, yeah. Which would, wouldn't have been uh, feasible with uh, the ordinary uh, traditional lab, paper lab book. Yeah. Yeah. So you can also work at home without having to bring your notebook home. Yes. Oh, yeah. That sounds good. Uh, yeah. I can also mention that during the lockdown due to the COVID-19 epidemic. Yeah. Having ELN was beneficial. We could uh, communicate, we could follow up what happened uh, uh, in the lab since yeah. we were not in the lab or at the lab all the time at the same time. Yeah. It was really, really good. So it really has been beneficial for the collaboration in your group? Definitely, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. But now we've been talking about the benefits of an ELN. Are there also some uh, disadvantages of using an ELN? Many people put a lot of effort right in the perfect protocols. Yeah. Uh, and it's of course very good because then it's saved and you always have it. Uh, but it's time consuming. It takes a lot of time. Yeah. Um, and so one needs to find the balance between uh, a perfectly looking uh, protocol and um, a useful protocol mm. that one can, uh, that is detailed enough so one can repeat it. Uh, and understand what's written there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why do students care about using an ELN? I think we should all care because we should care about the way we document our work. Mm. Uh, and for students or people who are uh, younger than me, um, I think it seems natural to have a, a computer program or an mm. app well, they use to document their work rather than a paper notebook. Yeah. Uh, it's much more common these days. Yeah. yeah. Start with it early in their career. Yeah. 
can you say something about how the experience has been for your students? Um, most people uh, adopted very fast, uh, started using it mm. uh, and pick it up. And uh, I think for those who join the group, now that ELN has been established, it just be a natural thing. It's there, available. Yeah. Uh, that's good. So it's not difficult to start using it. No, 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 it's very easy. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's user friendly and easy. Mm. At least the formats that uh, I've been working with. Yeah. Does it help you in your supervision of students? Yes. Yeah. It really allows me to be involved mm. and to follow work at, in real time, uh, to spot problems, to uh, understand whether data has been uh, interpreted correctly. Oh, yeah. I think it's important. Yeah. Mm. So many people, uh, including supervisors, that have been using old-fashioned notebooks during their entire career, they might be a little bit hesitating to start using something new in ELN. Mm. What would you say to them? Uh, I would quickly specify the pros and cons and, and recommend them to try it. Yeah. Uh, I should mention that I think most people, if not all, uh, who are doing this kind of work, they use uh, digital formats, so they have they write their protocols using uh, Microsoft Word or Excel, and saving these protocols and documentation in their personal computer. Yeah. So digital digital protocols are being written, but not saved in the right format or in a program that uh, allows you to uh, that was designed for it. Mm. So actually, they already have everything. I just have yeah. to put it in the right platform. Yes, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. <gasps> So open science is becoming the new normal with funders and research institutes requiring that scientists are sharing their publications openly, but also their research data. Uh, and I believe that an ELN uh, will help to fulfill these demands uh, and it will also contribute to open science. Do you agree? Yes, it's, uh, it teaches people that sharing data is a good thing and mm. beneficial down the line. Okay. Omri, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. <laughs>